Hey friends, hope you're doing well. In this video, we'd like to dive into the new formatting options for tables in Power BI. Now with the release of the May 2024 update, Power BI now supports additional features which were priorly not available. Specifically, this is interesting for everyone who has prior experience with Microsoft Excel because we had pivot tables and pivot tables are really flexible because they allow a lot of formatting for the layout and some of those were not available in Power BI or they were available, but we had to really find some kind of quirk workaround. Now we have new additional features and we're gonna explore them together. So let's do that. So at first, of course, as I said, make sure that you have at least the version of May 2024 installed, otherwise you can't use them. So next, let's actually import uh, or create, in this case, a table. And to be specific, what we need is a matrix visual, not a table, but in general, they are kind of the same, but the new features are available with the matrix. So that's why I click on matrix here. So let me just expand this, make it a little bigger, and then let's just add a few, uh, in, uh, in this case, uh, columns in there. So let's go in here and say, I want to go with my uh, orders table, so go on orders table, and then I'm using my region as a field, so click this one, and then I also want to add, uh, let's say, the category, right? Let also either drag it inside like that, or drop it here, it's up to you, or just click on the little box, and it should also be added in here. Okay, so this is that, and now let's actually also add some uh, kind of measures in here, so let's say, for instance, I like to see the, let's go with the profit margin, take this one here, and then let's go with, for instance, the total sales, um, let's took this one here, and of course you add additional measures, let's say total profit here as well. Okay, so we've got a few, uh, in this case, KPIs in here. Now, so far so good. Let me also, just make sure, let me increase the font size a little bit. So go in here, go to the format section, or click also the little pencil here. And if you can't see it here, go to more options, and then this uh, format should appear. Let me just close this one for now. And let's say for the values, let's make them bigger. Let's say I'd like to see them in size of 14, so we have them a little bigger, and also do the same in here for the rows. So the row headers in here, let's go there and also increase here the size a little bit. Okay, so we got this as well. So by default, and this is what we also had prior, let me take this again, we have this plus icons here, right? The plus and minus, we can also disable them in the settings if you want. As you can see here, these are the icons, I can turn them off if I don't want them. So here, but by default they are available and we can click on the plus symbol just to expand this specific uh, part of the hierarchy or also uh, collapse it again. Now, of course, we could also do this together for the end user by just clicking on the two arrows here, like that, and of course, then all of this is expanded. So far, so good, we already knew that, and that was available prior as well. Now, what we now have is, if I go back, let me just close this here and also close this, and let's go up to the layout and style presets. So in here, there are new options beside the style. These are available, uh, were available before, but now we also have the layout here. By default, we have the compact layout, which looks exactly as the way we currently see it. Of course, we can play around with the indentation like this and make this bigger or smaller that was also available before. But now we have new layout options. The first one next to compact is in this case outline. So let's click on outline and see how the table change. So let's take this option and you see that now we have two columns. So America is now separate actually from, in this case, uh, so the category, which is the second field in my specific table, and you can clearly see these are two separate, in this case, columns. And also the total is up here, as well as for you, exactly the same. Now, next to this option here, you can clearly see that America currently is only in the top row. Some people prefer to have this repeated, which is also possible in a pivot table in Excel, but in Power BI, that was not available, but now we have the option to repeat the row headers. Just turn this on, and you can clearly see that now we also have America as well as Europe here filled. So it's also a possibility. Uh, it depends on what you prefer, but now at least you have the option to have both, which was, as I said, not available prior to that update. Okay, let me untick this for now. And let's actually take a look at the third layout next to outline, which is tabular. Now currently you can see that the total is on top, like this one here, but if you go with tabular here instead, click this option, now you see that it moved actually. Now the total is at the bottom. Also, it's up to you what you prefer, but we have all the options now with these three different layouts. And the same is true for repeated row headers. So again, if you say that I don't like this, or your boss uh, comes to you and says, I want, or your client comes to you and says, I need to have this repeated, just go there and just take this option and you have it. Okay, it's up to you what you prefer, but it's easily switchable. Just click on this option here. 
Next to this, there's also an additional feature which was not available prior, which is a lot of people approached me and always wanted to have a kind of blank row. Which means they wanted to have some kind of separate line between those two regions in this case, like here. Here we can see the total and then as you can see here, it exactly starts with the next line. And this is something really a lot of people said, I want to have this blank line, how can I get this in? And as I said, that was also possible actually before, but it was really difficult because it was a workaround and you had to do a lot of work for that. Now it's right here in the settings. It's quite easy because there's a blank row now and you can just turn it on and you now see that blank row here everywhere between all these different kinds of parts of your, of your matrix. So quite easy to set up and highly appreciated that Microsoft decided to add this in because that was a, at least something which I was approached very often. Can I get this? How can I do this? I can do this in pivot tables, but here it's not available. How to do it? And uh, this is the answer now with the new update. Just turn this on and you have it. The other options are exactly the same as before. So there are a lot of various options like to uh, color the style of the matrix. As you can see, instead of banded rows, you can play around with the colors of the, um, of the different kinds of, in this case, KPIs. Uh, also, uh, whether there's a threshold, you want to see something in green or red, if it's below or above, all this is available and was available before, but these are the new settings. The three different kinds of layouts, as well as this blank row, if you want to edit or not, it's up to you, but all this is available now with the new update. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you can use this in your own reports. As always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bless guys.